Jenny. We're gonna be talking about waffles today. I don't know about you, but when I go to the grocery store and I bring home frozen waffles, I'm always disappointed with how thin they are. The pockets on them aren't deep enough to hold enough syrup or fruit or whatever you wanna to top them with. That's why I love the Nordic Ware Belgian waffler, which I'm gonna be demonstrating here today. This is actually a stovetop item, so there are no cords, you don't have to worry about plugging it in, it doesn't go in your toaster oven, it's just on your stovetop. It's a cast aluminum pan, and it's coated with nonstick on the inside, so you get nice release. And one of the benefits of this pan that I see as the best feature is that you end up with waffles that have very deep pockets, can hold whatever you're putting into them. So let's walk through how you're gonna use this pan. It's very easy to use. I just have some plain waffle batter mixed up here. And waffle batter tends to have a little bit more oil in it than a typical pancake batter, so that's what ends up resulting in that crisp exterior that we all love on waffles. We have heat preheated this over about medium heat on the stove, probably two to three minutes per side, and we've rotated it halfway through to make sure that both halves are equally hot. I'm gonna brush the inside of the pan with a little bit of vegetable oil now that it's preheated, and this is just to an absolutely be certain that our waffles are going to come out when we're finished. This has great nonstick coating on it though, so this isn't entirely necessary. I'm gonna flip the pan over and do the other side as well. You'll notice that this pan is nice and hot and ready for waffle batter. When you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you're using a pastry brush that has real bristles on it so it's not melting, or a silicone pastry brush, which also won't melt on a hot pan. Looks like we're ready now. We're gonna leave the pan over about medium heat. You can see the flame that I have this set on here right now. Medium flame. You don't want it too hot or your waffles will burn and you don't want it too low or your waffles will be doughy and raw in the middle. I have a half cup measuring spoon. One of the parts you need to be careful with on this pan is measuring just enough batter and not too much because the pan will overflow if you get a little bit too much batter in it. I'm just adding the batter to the center of the pan here, and when we close the lid, it's actually going to spread out to the corners of the pan. You wanna close it slowly, and if you see any of the batter coming out the sides of the pan, you're gonna to wanna to remove the pan from the heat and use a sharp utensil to scrape it off the side so it doesn't burn on your burner. So we're gonna let this cook here now for about two minutes per side. It's gonna turn a nice golden brown because of the heat that we have in the pan and the nice cast aluminum construction. And let's come back in a few minutes once this is cooked. One of the most common mistakes with the Belgian waffler is not putting quite enough batter in the inside of it. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like if you don't put enough batter in. You end up with a waffle that doesn't quite make it out to the edges. So you don't get the nice squared off look. It's still gonna taste great, but this is why it's important that you just put in the right amount of batter. One of the things that people love about Nordicware's Belgian waffler is how easy it is to store. When you compare this, just this thin profile, to that of an electric waffle iron, it's much, much easier to store in your cabinets. Another benefit with this pan is how easy it is to clean. Now, if you think about an electric waffle iron, you can't submerge that in water. So when you have caked on waffle batter and it's really in desperate need of cleaning, you can't put it in water. But the Nordicware pan can go right into a hot, soapy dish sink and be washed. That's a lot easier for your cleanup. All right, I think it's been enough time. Let's check on our waffle. You wanna make sure you don't open it prematurely because it'll pull the waffle apart, but I know that this one has been on here long enough and it's been flipped sufficiently. This one looks like it's great. Now you see how deep the pockets are on each of these waffles? These are almost an entire inch deep. That's so much deeper than if you just buy grocery store waffles or make them on a small electric waffle iron. That's gonna hold all of the syrup, fruit, whipped cream, whatever you can dream up to serve your breakfast guests. So this should lift out of here quite easily onto my serving plate, thanks to the nonstick and to the oil that we brushed on the pan. But look at that. That is four beautiful and gigantic waffles. I know your breakfast guests are gonna be impressed when you serve them a Nordicware Belgian waffle. Take a look at this.